him from three months old and you were afraid that you would fail with him. Yes. And then you realized, you know what? He's just a horse. Yep. He's a horse just like any other horse, not even a particularly bad horse. Right. He's strong, which all, you know, he, he's stronger than some horses. And he'd learned some bad habits, but he's not a bad horse. No. And so then you went back and you approached him with a completely different attitude. As any other horse. It was. I, I, that morning I said, you know what? If I can't ride this horse, then I don't have any business riding any of the horses out there. <laughs> I need to have a dead broke quarter horse. And I said, and I've never, ever done stuff like that. So right. there's no reason I can't ride him. Yeah. I just need to get over it. He's not going to kill me. He doesn't want to kill me. No. He just is green. Yeah. I've dealt with green horses a long time. What's the problem? Right. So I went out and we fought for a few minutes about going down the lane and finally he's okay. Yeah. And the down. difference is that you sat up and rode him forward <coughs> yep. instead of leaning forward and getting terrified. Right. And that backed him up. And and that's a fear. And it, it's difficult because it's it's very hard to get over fear. Mm -hmm. But fear stops us from being able to think or ride. Right. So that fear, we have to understand it and figure out a way to get it under control. Right. Because if you can't be with your horse without being fearful, you can't be with him, is the, is the thing. So, um, you know, and I could go on about that all morning because there's so many different ways to approach the problem of fear. Right. Um, but what right. I do know is that denying your fear doesn't work.